Okay, so now we're done with giving up description for our out, uh, artwork. So the next one is an art analysis. So why, how do we analyze our subject matter in an artwork? So describing an art is far different from analyzing your art. So let's try to look into the way on how to describe our artwork. In analyzing your artwork, you have to look into the artwork, how was it organized. So if there's organization, then there must be elements, there must be factors that would be composing of in trying to come up with a better organization of an artwork. So that means there is the there is the relationship that exists between the the elements and the principles that are being used in your artwork. Okay. So most probably uh, in trying to come up with the, an art analysis, we try to look into the link and association between the elements and principles that are being used in your art. So uh, there are also several questions that can frame up your art analysis. Okay, so let's try to look into these questions that would help up us come up with an art analysis. <clears throat> So we usually ask this question, how has the artist used colors in the artwork? So there are several uh, several steps or approaches that usually an artist used use his colors, okay? The color combination of the different colors, how to come up with a better, uh, with a smoother color, how to come up with a brighter color, how to come up with a heavier color, things like these. So also we can ask the question, what sort of effect do the colors have on the artwork? So what does it create when you put this color red or when you put this color blue? What feeling does it create to the art, to the work of art or subject matter? What color, what emotions does it um, manifest or show when you use this color? Things like this, okay? So we can also focus on the line. These are all the samples of an element, okay? So we try to, to ask the question like, how has the artist used this line? How uh, this, is art, this artist used the curves, the shapes in the, uh, in the work of art? And what role does it play? What do these this lines, these shapes, these colors, uh, has on the subject or what role does texture play in the artwork? Has the artist used the illusion of texture? Has the artist used much more of a deeper illusion or uh, or uh, just a shallow illusion? How has texture been used within the artwork? So how does it impact the artwork? So you see the, the elements and the principles work together to come up with your better analysis. So when you make your art analysis, then you cannot get rid of trying to say something or trying to come up with a statement relating the principles and elements. Okay, so you don't forget that. Also, you can you can come up with questions like you can also notice if there's a distance between the subject matter and the background or the background or vice versa. The background is much emerging than the subject matter or the subject matter is much emerging than the background. Okay, so that it, that has something to do with analysis. It talks about the distance, okay, of the subject matter, of the actual subject matter or the actions being done in a particular art piece and its background. Also, you can ask the question, how has the overall visual effects or mood of the artwork has been achieved by the artist. So you're trying to come up with the questions like, how did the artist use the colors and elements to come up with a better output? Okay, so you, with these questions that you'll be asking, then you will be coming up with a better or profound analysis that are much relevant and significant to the meaning in making up the meaning of your art 